and welcome to another episode of Daycare Success TV, where I'm your host, Andrea Dickerson. Well, I want to talk to you today about ways to add value to your child care business. You know, by adding value to your child care business, you can really get paid what you're worth. And I want to talk to you a little bit from my heart and tell you some things that I did to add value to my child care business. One of the first things I did was I took a look at what was the normal activity in my industry. Most of the centers in my industry, they operate Monday through Friday, and their business hours are 6.30 in the morning until 6 p.m. So what I decided to do was to extend my Monday through Friday operations to actually include a Saturday, and I also extended the hours to actually close at 11.30 p.m. Why did I do that? I studied my market, and I found out that we have second shift companies. And so I began to market to those, to those clients who work second shift. And by doing so, I was able to uh, increase my pay and also increase the value for parents who needed that service that time of evening. Okay, another thing that I did to increase my pay was to look at my signage. I looked at how my signage was out front and I decided that I wanted a professional signage, not something that was hand drawn, but was something that was done from a professional company. And by doing so, I presented a professional image to those who were looking for a professional child care provider. Also, I made my signage very visible. I made sure that my signage was able to, was, that the client would be able to view my signage from passing by. I also created an online presence. You know, online presence for your business is so important. I know that I've gained at least 30 clients over time by having an online website, which I created myself and you can create your own, and also by having some type of social media where the clients can communicate with me and I can communicate with them. And that brings in other ways of adding value to your company. Also, I took a look at my informational marketing material. I made sure that my postcards were professional and inviting. I made sure that my uh, business cards were professional and inviting. And also, I made sure that I had brochures so that when I have a client give me a call, I can always stay in front of the client by mailing them out information. One of the things that I made sure of that I used my local Staples or Office Depot to actually help me print those documents out so that I could continue to prove present a professional image and one of the things that's another value on any informational marketing material is to be sure that you capture a, per, a parent testimonial you know you can have one student in your program and capture a parent testimonial so don't delay any further be sure to look at all of your marketing tools to be sure that you're adding parent testimonials that you created a professional signage and that it's visible that you have a website or some type of social media online presence and that you also have uh, beautiful informational marketing material about your company. Also, be sure to study your market and see what it is that you can do to differentiate yourself from other centers in your area and I'm telling you today that that will for sure add value to your company and for your parents. Well, this is Andrea Dickerson and I'm on my way out, but if you should need anything else, be sure to contact us at www.georgiasuccessfuldaycares.com. Here's to your success. Have a great day.